Welcome back. In this video, we will look at using the include and exclude IC filter to easily remove unwanted elements from a model when converting to structural analysis. There are two typical ways you can complete this. You can simply delete the geometry from the model within Rhino and use the Geometry Gym IFC exporter to export the resulting as a new IFC file. Or you can use available class filters to include some elements and also exclude others. I want to have the original geometry in place for back checking, so I'm going to use class filters in this case. In Grasshopper, I can navigate again to the SAP Base tab and select a component named GG SAP Convert IFC Filter. This allows me to add a filter to the file during conversion. This filter allows me to provide one or more classes and also search for text within an item type, name, tag, or description. By default, an IFC building element include filter is already defined. However, if you are adding additional include filters, you will need to add this manually. To understand which filters to apply, I need to interrogate the model in a little bit more detail. To do this, I'm going to load the IFC text data into Rhino. This will allow me to view element information. From the GG Rhino menu, I can select to show the IFC tree view. Then I want to load the project into the viewer by selecting Load IFC, and then again selecting the IFC project. Here I can see the tree view of the IFC file and start to navigate through how the building is assembled. The first thing I want to remove are these small rod elements. You can see if I click on one of these elements, the tree viewer will automatically navigate to the definition of this element in the file. I can see that this element is defined as an IFC column and has rod within its description. I can therefore set up a filter in Grasshopper which excludes all elements of class IFC column which contain rod in the description. There are also a lot of trimming angle members, which I would like to remove on the conversion. I can see if I click on this element, it is defined as an IFC member. It has a member size, tag, and a description. I could try and remove it by one of these attributes, but it is likely that I would start to delete elements I actually still want to keep in this model. For instance, these truss cords and diagonal bracing members are similar size members to these trimming ones. If I click on one of these truss cords, I can see that they typically have brace in their description of the element, similarly with these bracing members. In this case, I will set up an include filter to only include IFC member elements if brace is contained within their name. I have already looked and saw that most of the other elements are defined as IFC beams, so this shouldn't affect the model conversion. All 
Also, as mentioned, I also need to ensure an IFC building element filter is added to make sure all other elements are still included. I will just do a quick tidy up of the script and then I'll apply the filters to the options component. Lastly, I will just add some additional IFC beam exclusion filters to remove some of the other peripheral elements. I will now center sap again to now look at the model. You can now see we have a nice clean model, which is typically snapped nicely to one another. As said at the start, it's sometimes hard to get the full repair process 100% accurate. You may need to complete a couple of tweaks here and there to get the final analysis completed. However, this should save you heaps of time in this process. Finally, I'm going to bring back in the SAP model, in this SAP analysis model, to look at the difference between the two models. To do this, first I need to save the SAP file within SAP. If I go back to Rhino, I can type the command gg interpret sap. This allows me to select a sap file to bring into Rhino and compare the structural analysis model with the IFC model. This allows you to understand how the structural analysis model differs from the original IFC model, to check whether it's in respectable position tolerance, and also to double check that the conversion completed correctly for section profiles. I hope you have enjoyed these videos on some of the tools within Geometry Gym, available for transferring IFC files to structural analysis applications. We are always looking for ways to improve these tools, so any suggestions for improvement would be welcome. If you would like to get in touch, please don't hesitate to contact support at geometrygym.com or you can contact me directly at nathan at geometrygym.com. Thanks a lot for watching.